Hi guys, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to make uh, digital numbers that you could use for an alarm clock, a microwave, a bomb countdown. Uh, it's pretty simple, so I'm going to start off with uh, turning the grid on. It's going to help you draw the shapes. Um, Anime Studio does have a sequencer, but I wanted to show you how to draw your own numbers and use them with switch layers. So um, with the grid layer or grid turned on, we'll go ahead and draw a shape and I already have a red fill selected and a black stroke. And I'm just gonna drag, click and drag a rectangle out that's two squares wide and seven, seven squares tall. Then I'm gonna hit A and that's to add points and I'm gonna left click and drag up there and create a point at the top and do the same with the bottom. Then I'm going to uh, select Command A, that's going to select everything, and Command C, Command V to copy and paste. And holding Shift down, I'm going to hover over the rotation area and just turn that to its side and then click in the center and drag it to place. And then do a Command A, select all, Command C to copy, Command V to paste. And holding Shift down again, rotate it and then click in the center of the box and uh, put it in place. Then I'm gonna hit G, and then I'm gonna click on the uh, left object, and holding shift down, I'll select the top and the right object as well, and do a Command C, Command V to copy and paste those shapes and drag them up to the top. And you have all of the shapes that you need to make all the numbers. So now I'm going to uh, duplicate the layer nine times so we have all uh, ten numbers. Then I'm going to go ahead and rename all the uh, layers real quick. And now that we have all of the uh, labels correct, I'm going to go ahead and turn off um, all the layers, or turn the visibility off so we can see what we're doing. And with uh, layer zero selected, we'll go ahead and hit G and select the center piece and hit delete. Then we'll turn on frame, or number one, select that, hit G, select the uh, shapes you don't need and just hit delete. Uh, double click on, oops, uh, select frame uh, number two and select the things you don't need, go to three. Actually, you just have to click once on the layer and it'll uh, become visible. So it's pretty easy. Go to four, those. So it's pretty easy to uh, make your own digital numbers. And eight's already made. And then nine, and that's it. Oh wait, I think nine has a little bottom like that too. I think. So we'll just leave it like that, and then all you have to do is create a switch layer, and we'll call it numbers, and then drag that to the top of your layers palette, and then click on zero and then hold shift down and select nine, and then drag that up into the numbers folder, and then right click on the numbers folder and select zero to have your starting number. Oh, turn off, turn on all of your uh, layers, visibility. Make sure all the eyeballs are showing right there. Um, and actually, um, let's select nine. So we'll do a countdown instead. Or you can do the opposite if you want to make a clock, but we'll start with uh, nine. So on your timeline, we'll go ahead and go to uh, frame six, and I'm going to just uh, select nine again. That's going to create a keyframe, and then I'm just going to go down every six frames and change the number. So selecting frame 12, I will right click and hit 8, go to 18, and then select 7, 
six. Pretty easy. Four. Three. zero. Now we need to make one more frame for zero. Um, so when we make it loop, um, it doesn't skip. It, it looks correct that like it keeps cycling uh, correctly. So we'll right click on the last keyframe, hit cycle, go back to frame two, or actually one, I think. Let's see how that looks. I think it's pausing. Sorry for that pause. I uh, accidentally duplicated the keyframe twice, so the count looked weird. So now that I have a looping animation of a countdown, like that, and that uh, switch layer, um, with the grid still turned on, We'll go ahead and select this, the um, numbers switch layer and just duplicate that. And we'll just leave it number or, uh, numbers two. And then use the uh, transform layer tool and holding shift down, just click in the center and just drag that over. And you can kind of use the grid to just uh, line it up. So it's about two squares apart like that. And then basically all you need to do, if you're making a countdown, um, I'm just going to redo the keyframes. So I'll uh, deselect, or select all the keyframes and delete them. And then all you have to do is scrub through the timeline. I think that's a little easier than trying to just calculate um, when it's supposed to change. So just scroll down until it hits zero. And then when it switches back to nine, just go into your second um, switch layer, change it, so now it's 89, scrub through, when it changes to nine, change that again, 79, and just keep doing that. And then you have uh, you, uh, digital countdown. Um, so you can use this to create a clock, um, an alarm clock. You can, um, even if it's static, you could you could create your own and then just make it blank for countdown for a bomb or microwave or anything like that. So. Hope uh, you guys found this useful, and if you have any questions, just leave a comment. Thanks.